Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Gangster. <laughs> we gonna do it the real one. Let him let him say I'm trying. We like things that just saying something you know, the real. Whatever we did. Yeah, 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 man. You and you and Rick Ross. No. You've never seen him. Uh, have y'all ever talked? We talked several times. Have y'all ever face to face? Not face to face. No, you don't want to talk. He's, he never wanted to be in the same room with you. No. And I, and I, you know, with all that money. That's what, that's the trip. If he, if it's really his money, he might. If it's really his money, mm-hmm. you prop. Lefty. <laughs> We in the better guy than the dog would put that. It might be like a guy playing a gay. What? You're really ain't gay. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? And you just said that. Yeah, you, know, you say someone well, really ain't gay. They just put on a dress and act gay. That's it. So he might be playing like he rich, but he really ain't rich. They different. That's right. But what? why do you think he, he would not want to be in the same room? I mean, if you put. The real, you take two Nike tennis shoes, Air Jordans, everybody love them. They love them. They spend their last dollar on a pair of Air Jordans. You yep. put the fake Air Jordan and the real Air Jordan on the table. And which one get the value? Yeah, that that that, that, that one that's fake going to be. They, yeah. No, nah, that, the kids don't want the fake. So you probably never be in the room. If y'all never, never do business, y'all would never. We can never do business. Could never do business. What's going to probably happen is it's going to get. As I get so big, people are going to start saying, man, you a fake. <laughs> you got to go down in history as the fake Rick Ross. You know that's going to be his model. Is when history is written, because you know we're writing history right now. Yeah, we're yeah. making, we making history. Make it history. Yeah. So when they go down in history, he's go down in history as the fake Rick Ross, the guy who stole the real Rick Ross. Is- wow. Yeah, and, and that's, that's yeah, because you are freeway Ricky Ross, who pretty much the only way he could change that is change his name and build it all over again. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> That's the only way you don't go out in the history as the fake Rick Ross. When the history books is written, and the history books are definitely gonna be written. Yeah, he's gonna go down in history as the fake Rick Ross, the guy who stole the real Rick Ross's name. Wow, wow. And he and and then all the other stuff that he came into contact with the CEO. Well, no, it don't even matter. That's gonna be over oh, yeah, because of y'all's success. Exactly. You, you're exactly right. I even think about that. Nobody cares about the other part. They're just looking at the success. Yeah, when they start reading the history books and, and going through the books and 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 the future kids, it's gonna be like, well, he tricked all a lot of people. <laughs> Man. Pre- Rick Ross, man, God, dog, man. Because when I first heard, like I said, I didn't even think about it. But when you came home, it became very prevalent of what happened. You know, people started wrecking around like, dang, man, freeway out. You know, freeway out. What's going to happen for new? What's going to happen when this 30, 000, uh, $30 million movie hit the, hit the screen and advertisement is all on it? And, and, and now anybody also going to call me. <laughs> you know, she, she going to find it. She need to talk to him. She going to I need to talk to him. Yes. <laughs> that is so true. Like it, the way the bigger it gets, will tell how much money you got. <laughs> man, you didn't want to talk to me when I had that. This, I'm this, this, like Mike Jones. <laughs> Shout out Mike Jones, man. Huh? Really? When you look at the whole situation, man. First of all, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you at in this country, wherever you at in other countries. Boss Talk One Hundred One want to say. Uh, man, appreciate all you guys for liking and subscribing to the channel. Make sure you guys uh, keep following what we're doing because we're rocking every day. Um, my biggest deal <clears throat> is, man, I just interviewed Rick, Freeway Rick, and uh, I got another interview with him here, recent, even more recent than this one. But the Rick Ross thing continues to come up every time. And I always was like, man, why does this keep coming up? Because sometimes I ask God, why does stuff keep coming up? But Freeway is still fighting to get, you know, the respect of his name, uh, you know, and then like he felt like Rose, Ricky Rose disrespected him. So um, when I wake up and hear the the diss track, man, there's a lot of stuff going on, man. The game did a whole diss track to Freeway called Freeway's Revenge, and it used one of the Freeway's pictures, the the true Freeway. He, he, he dissed Ricky Rose. I don't know where it came from, but I kind of 
figure with the Drake stuff going on. Rick is all jumping in the middle of different stuff. Rose, Ricky Rose is jumping in the middle of stuff. So Game took it upon itself to, you know, uh, correspond and, and drop something. You know, uh, pictures are hilarious. Beef is needed in the streets, to be honest with you. So I enjoy hearing what, what's going down, man. Loving the whole vibe of what's going down. I'm going to be really tapping into this one because of the, I got skin in the game, man. Uh, you know, it's a few things that he mentioned in here, even the Larry Hoover uh, segment where he said something about Larry. It was crazy to me. I mean, but he's talking about, you know, when he referenced Big Meech and Larry Hoover, it was like. Back making up shit just to pass the time. He thinks he's Big Meech. Free Larry Hoover, Miami and Big Beach. Now See, and, and when he said that, I felt him because I interviewed Larry as well. And Larry, you know, he had stuff that he had to say on it for his for him even using his daddy's name when his daddy's trying to get out. So, man, Rose been catching it, catching some blows on his diss track. So I had to jump in here, man. Um, definitely going to uh, rock out, you know, every time for Freeway because Freeway supports the show. Now, I don't just Freeway support it, but there's a lot of different people. Larry Hoover Jr., he supports the show. So I have to, you know, I have to say something, you know, in response. Hold on one second. Okay. All right. Yeah, but definitely, man, um, definitely it trips me out when you see and hear what's going on. But I said I was going to call Atola OG Pyru and see what he had to say about what he thought about it. Uh, let me see what we got here. Y'all bear with me for a second here because I'm just trying to figure this out. Yes, sir. What's going on? Good morning, OG. What's going on with you? Good morning. Good morning, E. How are you this morning? Man, I'm all right, man. I got you on, on I got you on speed dial here. Uh just you know, I had to tap in with you about this uh freeway Ricky Ross, uh 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 um, you know, the freeway's revenge that the game did, being that you from Compton, you know, I feel I bumped it. I feel like you are you are, you know, Cause he even mentions a, a come to end the song. Like I just wanted to get your take on it. Um, you know, see what you thought about this whole diss track. Man, you know, uh, game game is vicious when it, when he goes in on somebody, and uh, the things that he says uh, when him and uh, him and uh, Fifty fell out. Man, you know he went in. So, and this 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 record here is. A long time coming, like Malcolm said, the chickens come home to roost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, the stuff that he went in on, uh, on old boy. Uh, on Rose, Rose, Ricky Rose. Uh, that's actually uh, Robert Williams II. That's his name? His name is Robert Williams II. He's from. Robert Williams II? Robert Williams II from Clay City, Florida. Uh, he was a federal corrections officer. He left uh, the federal federal correction office in in two thousand in 1997. Okay, okay. His his first name was the Teflon Don, but goes back to when nineteen ninety six when Reggie M started coming in with Death Row. We start talking about the hip hop police. Okay. And he is one of the original hip hop police. So when Game went in on him, you know, uh, he's just bringing up what people been whispering and saying these dudes been doing this dude with the police. Wow. You know? And nobody wanted to set the record straight. Now, uh, Game, you know, took the opportunity to. Do the expose. Cat Williams brought everybody to start. You know, he said 24 was a truth telling year. Yeah, so it's coming out this year. It's a man. Everything that's, that's, that's under the rock is coming full fledged. So yeah, he went in on him. He could have went in deeper, but he he cut him. He cut him real deep. The one uh, the one verse that tripped me out was the one where he uh the way it comes on, the way the song come on it it, it hit it hits hard. It was like. Cut open his stomach and stuff bricks in it. Put his body on a scale like it's fish in it. Man, he he basically, you know, come in with a de defining beat that 
you know, you ain't heard that. that I don't know who did that, produced that beat, but it's a cold beat. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, it's a cold beat, man. It's a cold beat, but the lyrics, the lyrics, the words. Oh, the words is cold in itself. And he, because he talking about, like I said. <laughs> He said, you ain't had a key since you left the federal penitentiary. Wow. <laughs> he also, like I said, when he mentioned that Larry Hoover part, man, it's just a bunch. It's a, a lot to unpack, man. You know, he also did like a this part here. He, he tripped me out because he was really going in on the boy. He wasn't letting him make it. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm telling you now. So what I mean, what can he say? I mean, what? What is his get back on this? You know, I, I I give him the advice. The best thing to put out a forest fire is cut off the oxygen. Fat boy, don't say nothing. He talked about his health. He problem. act like he he act like he don't want to say nothing back too. He's saying that like I, I you know he ain't. He, I don't think he want to say nothing back because game he don't stop. Once he start, we know from re, when he did it before he don't stop. So and I think this good for hip hop. You know. He, he got 300 bars in him any way it go. Any way it goes. So it's going to be hard to deal with. So, I, I, so it didn't surprise me when 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 uh, Rose stepped up and said he t he's seeking attention and tried to deflect and said, like, like he kind of like, I'm not going to say nothing back. That's all a deflection because he don't want those bars, do he? No, 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 no. He, he, he ain't got enough ghostwriters to write shit for him. Game or sit there. And 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 go in there, boy. He got too much ammunition on. Him. Yeah, you you. I remember you met when you and Game then was over there in Drake and all y'all. So I know y'all been around each other a lot over there in Compton. And it just a it, it's a trip, man. How the inner circle so small. But I didn't I didn't know the game was gonna come out with no diss track on no oh oh oh, 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 oh Rose, you know, like this. So it man. threw me off. Hey. You know, it's just like you know, you are opportunity seeker. When the time comes, I mean, once I guess once a uh, a uh, 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 Kendrick went in on Drake and Drake and and uh, Rick Ross is supposed to be kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, well, you know, but Drake, Rick Ross dissed Drake too, though here recently. So yeah, he dissed Drake during this whole thing with Kendrick to try to, I guess, try to you know, I don't know, to be a part of some. Again, you know, far as when he, on the winning side, you know, because it looked like uh, Kendrick done won that beef, but on the winning side, you jump on it for Cloud, but he didn't see this game. He didn't know that the game was going to step out because, you know, the game rock with a lot of times, you know, Drake Camp is uh, Young Money and, and Birdman them, so that's, I mean, game tightly knitted with them too and Lil Wayne, that's his people, so they all rock, you know, so at the end of the day, I could see that happening too because, you know, Rick, Rick Ross been he been speaking on freeway uh been talking about it on my show but Rick Ross the Rose Rick Ross he been really really tapping in on some jumping into everybody's situation and saying stuff to people a lot so man that's what that's what the police do you see them on, <laughs> on podcast now it's no lodges with police did you no. did you see that picture that 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 the game posted with freeway and his partners on there the real the real freeway Oh, no, 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 I ain't seen Yeah, it's a picture that he did uh, the where it, it, when he put this out, he got the real Freeway on there. It say Freeway's Revenge. Got Freeway in the back. It's a blurry old picture. I'm going to try to get that original from Freeway. I want to see uh, that original. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, hey, that's that West Coast flavor, man. Once we get something in our crawl, boy, it's hard to shake loose. It's like pit bulls. Man. Come on. Man, thank you so much, man, for calling in, man. I'm going to give you your morning back, but I had to get your insight on it, man. Man, but, this way the boss is tall. Man, hey, man, listen, man, we go, we for the, we for the set the record straight next week. They don't see it coming, but it's about to go down, man. And when you when you coming back to Texas, man? Man, I'll be back in a minute. I just left for uh, one, of, one of the boys, uh, another one of the uh, number one ballers out here in Cali, uh, Steve, um, White from Whitey Enterprise. He didn't turn. So last night we were at a. Uh, he gave a Mother's Day dinner for every, for all the mothers on the east side. That's hard. And he, he did some real good. He be working in the community, and I, I'm sitting there, and this dude comes in like, man, I knew, I knew, I knew you. I'm like, knew. Me. He said, yeah, bro. He's from Sweetport, Louisiana. Yeah. And he watched Boss Talk. Man, shout out to that boy, man. Boss Talk 101. 
Yes, sir. So yeah, it was, you know, you make everything relevant, man, on a good portion. Man, I definitely want to be that. I've been identified a lot of times in negative by the feds, and my name been on wanted posters. <laughs> well, I just want to make sure I bring uh, some type of asset to your life. And, and, and I appreciate you for always spending time with Boss Talk, man. You one of the original Dun Daughters. You one of the things that made the show go up. So thank you. And, and, and I just say appreciate it, man. And I'm going to get back with you, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it because I can end this video, man, and get out of here, man. But thank you, man. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Boss Talk. Boss. Boss. Man. So there it is, man. OG Piru said, "Is it, it, when 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 when, the comp, when companies show up, they show out, man." So, hey, man, listen. All I'm saying is, from Larry Hoover Jr., Freeway Ricky, man. A lot of people that been on the show, and and like I say, the music Rick Ross put out is dope music. I ain't gonna lie. The dude can rap, but you can't take nothing away from Rick Ross. I'd love to see him go back and forth with the game. That would have been a clash of the titans because both of them can rap. Um, now. As far as what, you know, Freeway said about him taking his name, I got a feeling on that because he did 20 years in prison, man. And and to come home and your name be gone is crazy, man. But, man, appreciate you guys, man. Make sure you guys get in the comment, like, subscribe. Let me know, man, what you think about this diss song. Do you want to hear something from uh, Rick Ross to the Rosé? Um, and, and stay tuned because Freeway back on Boss Talk 101 next week. You're going to get to hear what he had to say. Appreciate the love, the respect. It's been another great set. Make sure you become members too. Boss Talk 101 with a Boss's Talk. Huh? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.